There are two little free apps that I use fairly often to sort, find, and update the metadata on sound file tags. Media Monkey and this one, MP3 Tag. The thing I like about MP3 Tag is it lets me look at one folder of files at a time and it clears and loads the data from the next folder that I select. Here I'm going to switch from what I was looking at to a folder called New Rips. This is where I pull in uh, my new ads to look at them before I put them onto the automation system. And you see I've got the Rolling Stones here. I've just converted a bunch of stones from WAV file to MP3. And I need to enter the title and artist to the metadata of the audio files. What we have in these fields is what our listener will see on their device as the song is playing. I can copy the artist name and paste it into the field so I don't have to retype it every single time. And once I'm doing this, as I'm doing this, this is actually writing this data back to that audio file. Those tracks are now tagged, so let's jump over to Music 1. It can import that metadata directly from the audio files. Open the menu Import and select Import from Sound File Tags. Click the Search Network button and then negotiate through the computer to the folder where your audio files are. And mine are in this folder named New Rips. And then tell Music 1 to read the files. Depending on the number of files in the folder, it'll take a few moments to scan it. I've seen some folders that have 1,000 or 2,000 songs in them, and depending on the computer speed, uh, Music One could take 30 or 40 seconds to read them all. This folder has 262 tracks in it, but I only want the Stone songs, so I hold down the Shift or the Control key and click to select them. Then click the Import button, and 14 song cards are created in Music One. I come into the New Songs category here and scroll down to the bottom, and there they are. MP3 tags do not have a feel for tempo or gender. You'll want to open each card and click in those characteristics, sound codes if they apply, and perhaps some of the other data fields if you need them. When you import this way, you can have the drive path file name imported into both the cart and the file fields, or just one of your choosing. Remember the difference. The file field is not required. This is only for Music One's built-in click and hear auditioning player. The cart field is what goes to your automation system. That's what it needs to find and play the file. Some of the internet automation systems will want the full path file name here but none of the professional automation systems do. You will want to have their identifying cart or UID number entered into this field. You can choose where the drive path file will go on the import window here, cart or file or both of them.